Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Ida and today I will teach you how to put four little frames into your iMovie project. As you may know, this is quite impossible because you can only add two layers of frame in iMovie. So you have your first video and then you can add one thing on top of that. And you can even put that in a little frame inside your project. But you can't do four little frames. So how are we going to do this? Well, we are going to try and be MacGyver and do it anyway. So for this particular project, I have this acapella cover of Because by Beatles that I did. Um, and I have four different voices. So I filmed myself singing four different voices and I want all of them to be in the frame at the same time. And as you can see here, the green is ooh, <laughs> the green is the sound file, and then we have the long file with all of the voices that sing all of the video things. Um, the first thing I want to do is to separate the four different takes that I want to be in the film, and I'm going to match all of the takes with the audio, and I'm going to do that for the four different clips so that I have four clips that are the equal length and that have the right sound. And uh, then I'm going to come back to you for the next step. Okay, so now we have our four videos that are the same length and have the same sound and this is going to make it a lot easier for us for the next steps. So what we are going to do is that we need another background and I want to make sure that the background is the same length as the video, so I just put it on top and I drag it out Oop. and then I'm going to change so that the background becomes the main frame thing and uh, everything is very slow now because I'm recording my screen while I am doing all of this so I'm sorry uh, but yeah, now I just change these and these are still the same length so it's still synced with the audio and what I need to do now is that I need to take this top frame and I need to choose the picture within picture option and yes this is in Norwegian and that maybe makes it more difficult and I'm very sorry um, but here with the um, squares uh, there is this menu that you can choose things from and you can choose picture within picture or frame within frame. I don't know how it's uh, translated in English. Um, but then you get a small little frame that you can move around on top of your background. And as you can see, I already have a background that is marked where the middle is, because even though iMovie can tell us where the middle is and where the outer parts are with these yellow lines, it's not totally accurate. This looks okay, but I like to kind of double check that it is actually in center because when I'm going to uh, add another frame, maybe iMovie won't do exact same center markings. That was a bit hard to explain, um, but uh, trust me on this. Even though iMovie and the yellow line says that this is the center, it isn't always the same center for all of the different cases, so it's good to be prepared. Um, and you also need to make sure that you don't have a fade in, fade out thing. And you can adjust this on these dots here. I'm just keeping on doing it to show you, but it's already on zero. Uh, so this is my first frame. And no, I don't actually want it over there. I want it to be in this corner. This is the first soprano. I kind of like to have it by voices. So this is the first soprano and then the second soprano and first alto and second alto. Nobody cares about this, but I kind of like it. I'm weird that way. So yeah, now we are going to export this and not all of these other things, but just this part of the project. And then we are going to continue with the next step. Dim, 
Trim, trim, trim. So I deleted all of these other voices and kept only the soprano and then I exported that as the file and now I'm going to redo that. So redo delete and they're back woohoo! And then I'm going to import the soprano file that should be on my desk. Yup, here it is. And then I can put in the other voices. I don't actually need to have the sound on for this one. Um, now we're doing the second soprano and we're going to repeat the process. So frame within frame. Now she's there and I'm going to ooh, put her in her place. <laughs> put her in her place. Nice talking. I'm doing a great job. What I like to do um, when I make uh, videos like this is that I like to go into the filter and add the mirror feature. I think it looks nicer when uh, these are kind of mirrored. So uh, I'm going to repeat the whole thing. Um, I will delete this I don't need anymore. Uh, but I'm going to delete these, export this as a file, redo, get these back, import this as a file, then add the first alto, and so forth. And I'm not going to record my screen through this whole process, but you, you get the idea, I hope. I will talk to you soon. Okay. So here we have our last frame, and we are going to put it in its rightful place. This is the second alto, so the lowest voice, and I'm putting it down in this corner. We. As you can see, even though iMovie says that this is in the center, it isn't quite aligned with the others, so that's the problem that I talked about in the beginning. But yeah, I think it looks nice like this. So we remove the fading in and out, and we add the mirror filter. And now we have our full video with four versions of me. And I have no way of telling if the audio is properly synced because iMovie is moving so slowly, so it's impossible to actually see if everything is right. Um, so I will have to export the project and watch it over to see if I made it. Um, but I noticed quite a lot of uh, dead space at the beginning here. We don't need that. Whoop. Now I'm just going to cut this project the way I want it and uh, do some editing of the exposure and stuff. Add like a title and an end screen. And then I actually have my project with my four frames in one frame, even though you can't really do that using iMovie. It's a bit of a time consuming struggle because you have to export your project so much, but I think it's worth it considering iMovie is a free software and the end result turns out the way that I want it. So that's all that matters really. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And also let me know if there are other iMovie related videos that you would like me to make. And uh, yeah, make sure to check out my acapella covers and my other covers and music videos. I will link some things in the description uh, beneath this video. If you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe. I'm posting a video every day in October, so that's fun. I um, hope you like this and I hope you have a really nice day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>
Because the world is round, it turns me on.